Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are unboxing Brat's Birthday Bash Phoebe. They're the ones to invite. They know how to party all night. Totally styling. Blazing belts. Funky skirts. The guys will melt. Everyone brings the perfect gifts. We're always party hopping. Our looks are party stopping. Hey! Brad's birthday bags. Collect them all. It's all sold separately. This is my first video unboxing for a while now. Um, I had a bit of a haircut disaster, so I've been waiting for it to grow back. I am not a huge fan of Bratz. I did collect them as a kid. I kind of transitioned from Barbie to Bratz in about 2004, 2005, and I loved them. But then as I got older, I kind of grew away from them. Um, their proportions are a little strange. When I recently got back into Bratz, I discovered this doll and I just had to have her because she has just such a beautiful face. It is like these really kind of retro colors you know mint green and the purple and the pink from memory these boxes are not fun to open i'm gonna try and do it all on camera so i've got my trusty little reader's digest pocket knife here so i think from memory you just cut all of the little plastic circle sticker tabs and then it should all just come away. Yeah, so the sides open. And then I think... I should have taken you through the box, actually. <laughs> See, I don't remember how to do this. Um, but it's pretty simple. These illustrations on the box do not actually match the doll. On the back, it says, Let's party, be fashionably late for the party of the year because the girls are gonna show you how to celebrate in super scorchin style. And then obviously they encourage you to buy all of them. So I'll show you that now that we've got the plastic off it. Now the box date for this doll I should just mention quickly is non-existent. Okay, I can't see a box date on here, so I'm just going to kind of do some research and then I'll pop the date right here. Ah, God. Okay, and that's what we're dealing with on the inside. So I'm interested to know, did any of you collect Bratz um, when they were originally a thing or have you gotten into them now? Did you have a favourite or have a favourite one that you're really after? Um, I have a list somewhere of all the ones I had as a kid. This hot glue is preventing me getting to this twist on Yeah, Yasmin was my favourite. My first one was a Dana, I think. I can't remember the name, but she had like short hair on top and I had her as a, like, I kept her and I still had her as an adult, but yeah, I, I noticed she had wonky eyes and she also had a missing plug, obviously, because I played with her as a kid, so. But yeah, I decided to get rid of her and then I haven't gotten her again because I just think the short hair on top is a bit strange. <sighs> All right, she's out. Now, I definitely would have gotten this doll if I had seen her in the stores. I had no idea she existed um, before collecting as an adult. But yeah, with her hair, her face, and the like, these really cool black pumps. I 100% would have gotten her. Her outfit's a bit cheap and nasty looking. It's kind of like you could probably make something like that out of a bunch of scrunchies and stuff. Her hair has gel in it. It's pretty gross. It's actually like red hair that is streaked with black. I did not realize that, but I still love it. It's so cool. 
Now I'm not familiar with Phoebe as a character and whether she always has red hair or anything like that. I don't remember her in any of the movies or shows. She did come with this card. My Donna came with a card too, but it was like holographic. This is just a very plain card with that really awful picture from the box. She has a shopping bag or a gift bag. Sorry, it's just a paper bag, silver string handles. We have a small brush, it's silver, kind of like that metallic coated plastic. Here is Phoebe. So those are her earrings, they kind of look almost Egyptian or something. I quite like those. So she has like the outline, like the lip liner which I love. I love these ones with the like little bit of teeth. Her head is nice and firm. Obviously that probably varies from doll to doll and I just realized she's popping out. Oh my God, that dress, this top is not great. <laughs> I might actually dress her in that, like the other brats that I unboxed, there was like this like dark maroon satin dress. I think she'd look really great in that. Velcro, Velcro, Velcro obviously. So it's just a little tube top with a single strap on it. And we have a really strange asymmetrical skirt. Oh, I think the, the leggings and the skirt are one piece. She's very sticky. She smells like like cardboard, I guess, from the packaging. But it's just like, not even an old cardboard smell, just like a new, fresh cardboard smell. Oh, I just realized she's, her skirt band is flaking all over the place. It's flaking, the like glitter's coming off. It's got a uh, satin ribbon bow, silver overskirt, and then the little fishnet legging things. She's got these little painted on underwear, yeah, basic articulation as well. I think this is gonna look so good. Oh, she just kicked me with her little stomps. Oh, I think she looks so good in this. It would be so nice if this was black. What do you think? Yay or nay? Okay, so I'll clean her up. Oh get her hair looking nice, hopefully. And then I'll show you some close-up shots of Phoebe, probably wearing this outfit because I hate the other one. So if you liked this video, please subscribe, check out my channel, see if you like any of the other kind of stuff I do. Please leave a comment below if you feel like it and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.